Uh, hello everyone, I'm Guido Zambarda. I'm a Microsoft Certified Senior Software Developer at PSCS.com and welcome to my demo session about the application customizer. Nello did a great job uh, with his uh, demo, but uh, I will try my best to get him started with the application customizer. Uh, here you can find my social handles and uh, my blog post where I post uh, regularly on a weekly basis. Uh, and if you're interested in uh, the SharePoint framework uh, world, uh, maybe you can find something that you would like. Now, okay. If, okay, I can do that. Uh, starting with what is the application customizer? We already saw something uh, with the previous demo, but uh, for the one who doesn't know what is an application customizer, is a SharePoint framework extension. And uh, uh, it's mainly composed of two placeholder in the page. So as you can see in the screenshot, we have a top placeholder and a bottom placeholder. And those are mainly the two things that you can customize with the application customizer. You can also do other stuff uh, that doesn't require the, a UI, but um, uh, I will cover those two uh, scenarios uh, in this demo. Now, setting uh, a little bit of context uh, regarding my demo. We want to uh, create a, a SharePoint framework solution, and I will show you how to create it uh, with a YAML generator or with SharePoint framework toolkit. And uh, we want, to, obviously, to uh, customize the header or the footer of the page. So, starting with the demo, I will begin uh, with the YAML generator, which I already opened here. And uh, uh, as you can see, you can um, uh, run uh, the instance of YAML generator with uh, yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint, which uh, will ask you a few questions uh, for uh, scaffolding your solution. The first one is uh, um, the solution name. And uh, after that, uh, you have to create uh, that you have to select uh, the type of component that you want to create. Since the application customizer is a SharePoint framework extension, we will select uh, the extension uh, uh, option. And after that, uh, you will have to select uh, the extension that you want to create. Uh, and um, after that, uh, Obviously, we're selecting the application customizer in this case. And after that, you can specify the name of your application customizer. After that, uh, I will not cover it, but after that, the uh, um, Yeoman generator will scaffold the solution and then you can start uh, developing, uh, developing <coughs> um, your uh, custom application customizer. Okay, this is the first, uh, this was the first method. Switching to the second, here uh, I have uh, um, an empty Visual Studio Code extension, and uh, I've installed uh, the SharePoint Framework Toolkit, which you can see up here. And when I click it, uh, a bunch of options uh, are selectable. And uh, in this case, uh, since we want to create a new project, uh, I will click uh, on the first one, where uh, I can create, I can define what is uh, the root folder of the project, the name of the, the project. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, you have uh, um, something like the YAML generator where uh, you can specify the component that you wish to create. Uh, and it's, in this case, it's the extension. And uh, uh, after that, you, have, uh, you can specify the, the, um, the name of the extension that we want to create uh, and uh, the type uh, of uh, uh, the extension in this case, uh, obviously, is uh, the application customizer. After that, uh, and uh, after uh, filling all the required uh, fields, uh, you can uh, create uh, the new SharePoint framework project. And uh, also, in this way, you can get started uh, developing your solution. Uh, switching to the real demo of today, <laughs> uh, here is my uh, demo environment. And uh, you can see, uh, as we said before, uh, you, we have two placeholder on the page uh, about the application customizer. And one is the top one, which is this one, where I simply put uh, a welcome to SharePoint framework uh, uh, text. 
And uh, the bottom one, where I uh, have uh, placed a sort of navigation bar, uh, which will uh, open or my blog uh, or a uh, getting started article uh, on the PMP documentation. And um, the application customizer will be available through all the sites. If I navigate uh, in the documents, for example, there will still be the, uh, the application customizer. But uh, if you're wondering, uh, if I go to the library settings, settings, for example, there will not be any placeholder for the application customizer. So keep that in mind uh, if you're planning to use it. So uh, proceeding, I will show you uh, a little bit of the code that I used. And uh, uh, this is my uh, simple solution. And after creating uh, your solution with either Yelman Generator or the Visual Studio SharePoint Framework Toolkit extension, you will have uh, something like this where you have um, inside the source and the extension folders, there will be a folder dedicated to your uh, application customizer. Inside that, you will have uh, the manifest JSON, which defines what is uh, your application customizer, and also the application customizer class, uh, which defines uh, um, what is the behavior of your, of your application customizer. Um, inside the, the class, uh, we have uh, our application customizer defined, and uh, the um, keyword that uh, it's uh, extending the base application customizer. Inside that, uh, you will have uh, a on init method, which uh, is the mainly entry point of the application customizer. And inside of this, uh, you will um, perform uh, all the required uh, uh, developing development that you want. In this case, uh, since uh, I have uh, simply put uh, a text uh, in the top area of the page and uh, a, navigator, a navigation in the bottom area of the page, I define two methods, one for the top and one for the bottom, so I can um, uh, define how to use those. Um, those methods uh, are down here, and uh, for example, for the first one, which is the top, I defined uh, at the class level, a uh, top placeholder variable, which is of type uh, placeholder content. And this uh, will contain uh, the, uh, all the content that will be placed uh, inside uh, the placeholder of our application customizer. So at first, uh, we will check uh, that the top placeholder is defined uh, and has a value because if it has a value, it's not required to perform another object uh, um, instance. And uh, after that, uh, we are um, effectively trying to uh, create uh, the content of our, of our placeholder using the web application customizer context, which exposes uh, the placeholder provider and this uh, exposes also the uh, try create content method, which uh, is in charge to create effectively your placeholder object. And there you can specify which is the type of the placeholder that you want to create. And uh, since this is the uh, render top placeholder method, the placeholder name will be top. And uh, I want to show you. Uh, the placeholder enumerator um, by now supports only the top uh, and the bottom uh, uh, possibilities. So keep that in mind also. And uh, after uh, creating our top placeholder, down here I will just check that the DOM element uh, has uh, a value. And if it does not, uh, I will simply create uh, the element that I want to use uh, and set it to the React DOM element. Uh, in this case, uh, the top component is a simple one, as you can as you saw before uh, on my demo environment. And uh, it just uh, creates a div element uh, rendered uh, with a styling that I choose and with a custom messages, message that I set uh, in the localization file. <clears throat> 
And after that, uh, we have uh, the, the other render bottom placeholder method, which does uh, mostly the same thing as the previous one, but uh, I want to show you that uh, the try create content uh, using the placeholder provider is uh, the bottom one. So it's specified uh, in this way that the, the control that we are instancing uh, would be in the uh, bottom placeholder. And then uh, down here, after creating the placeholder, we are creating effectively the component that we want to use. Uh, and in this case, the bottom component <laughs> is a simple uh, command bar where, as I showed you before, uh, there are two possible items, and one is uh, opening uh, uh, my blog, uh, and the other one opening the getting started article on the PMP documentation. And with this is all, so switching back to the slides, uh, I've left uh, a couple of references for you. One is the official um, guide uh, on uh, learn.microsoft.com about uh, creating uh, the application customizer. And the other one is the source code of the demo I, or I just showed you uh, about uh, the basic application customizer. So with this, uh, thank you all and back to you, Hugo. Thank you.